Hello, welcome to another video. Umut here. Today I'm working on my art journal uh, and uh, I'm going to create a nice image with my blue colors and using uh, Elena Zinski art digital stamps. I'm going to list the colors that I am using at the description area. These are Dina Wakely's acrylic sprays. Before I use, I sprayed a little bit uh, water on my pages. I don't use gesso, nothing. I just want a simple background uh, going from dark uh, blue to light blue from one corner to the other uh, of the page uh, and you will see what I mean and why I want that uh, very soon when I uh, move on with my page. I'm just spraying uh, these three colors and using a little bit white to mix as well to make the colors lighter on the right corner. Uh, there is a little bit of blockage sometimes or it's uh, a bit hard but it's okay. Uh, I just clean it with my baby wipe right away after I use it. It's very important. Uh, it blocks very easily because acrylic paint is uh, turns into plastic when it dries. I keep spraying until I am happy with the result. Uh, but I am using the same colors again and again. After I'm happy, I'm going to leave this to rest aside and dry itself. Uh, I'm not going to use my heat gun. Uh, I have these uh, very cute, beautiful images from Elena Zinski uh, Art uh, Etsy shop. Uh, these are digital stamps and I downloaded them and uh, printed them uh, on my printer. And uh, I'm going to uh, put the link down below at the description box for these beautiful images. They are also available in color or uncolored form. I love them. They are so cute and uh, I'm just going to color them. This time uh, I wanted to color them myself and I'm using Arteza uh, markers. These are alcohol markers that blend like Copics but much more affordable. So also I'm going to put the link down below at the description area together with my discount code that you can use for any product from the Arteza shop. It doesn't need to be markers specifically. I love these markers. I love how vibrant they are. I love how they come in that uh, very nice bag to carry. And they are very good value for money. Uh, I just uh, sped up my coloring process. Uh, I generally uh, prefer to cut this for so long but uh, I'm keeping some of it uh, and so that you can see how I blend uh, dark colors with light colors uh, to create depth uh, and how I color it. Um, if it's too fast for you, you can always slow it down from the bottom at the right uh, hand corner of the screen. Uh, you, if you click on it, you will see different speeding uh, options and you can arrange as you wish. Here, for example, I'm taking a couple of dark and light uh, skin tones and I'm uh, going back and forth between the two uh, to create some uh, change in tone so it looks more realistic and uh, they blend together. Uh, while I'm coloring, I can also tell you that uh, Elena put uh, so many nice images and very creative uh, digital stamps in her Etsy shop that I can't keep up. Uh, I see them, they are super nice and I want to use them all. Uh, but uh, I just can't keep with, uh, with her uh, speed. So what I'm going to do is, at the end of this video, if you hang out, I'm going to go over all these cute images so we can have a look together. And I'm going to link her uh, shop uh, down below at the description area anyway. Uh, so after I finished my coloring, I'm going to uh, use my gold acrylic paint and a sponge dapper and one of my favorite stencils uh, to create uh, some sun uh, rays uh, with this gold. Uh, I do this uh, technique all the time and I love it. Uh, I think it looks very beautiful and uh, this uh, acrylic paint, uh, when you use it uh, with dabbing, uh, it's uh, and lightly, uh, it's sort of transparent, so it doesn't cover uh, everything. And I can, before it dries, I can extend it uh, with the dabber or with my finger uh, to make it longer sun uh, rays. And I'm just uh, filling here this area uh, to create my sun fully. 
one of these girls look really sad and the other uh, seems really uh, happy so I want them to rep represent two opposite uh, feelings uh, and you will see that my quotation will go with this concept uh, to create some hope for all of us and I wanted the left and right uh, side of the pages to represent uh, night and day uh, and uh, that's why I made it uh, with dark blue on my side and uh, went through uh, light blue and now with the same gold I'm using my crafters workshop stencil with uh, these stars uh, just again dabbing with my acrylic paint uh, to create some night sky with stars I know we are having unusual and tough days uh, but uh, I just wanted to remind for a moment to all of us myself and you that there is always light and there is always hope at the end of uh, any experience in life so let's believe in that and be more cheerful this is also a stencil from crafters workshop and I am using my uh, one color of gelato like a dark blue one uh, to just uh, I'm just as you see uh, putting the gelato a little bit and then moving it with my finger because there is uh, acrylic paint uh, on the page uh, and gelato is very creamy it's very easy to move it uh, when there is gesso or acrylic paint or something that made the uh, background non-porous uh, gesso is very easy to move sorry gelatos are very easy to move this way I also have a semi-transparent uh, background uh, with the leaves uh, it's not covering all my background that I love uh, all the colors so it's a good way to have both in a way it also creates some more texture movement uh, energy and interest at the background after I finish I'm going to uh, quickly do my gold splashes I'm just watering down uh, this acrylic paint and uh, do my gold splashes to bring everything together I'm using my label machine to write my sentiment. Uh, this is uh, this can be found on Amazon and it's uh, not that pricey. My sentiment is even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. Now you understand why I uh, created all this background and my girls uh, fit into this so well because one of these is worried about the troubles and the night and uh, the other is uh, looks more hopeful and happy so it goes with this uh, concept and my sentiment I'll just glue down uh, my girls uh, with a uh, matte medium uh, there's nothing to worry about at the background but gelatos move with uh, water so I need to be just careful going over the uh, girl while I'm uh, sticking it down not to mess up so much with the background I'm using the dry brush and not a uh, uh, as you see being very careful not going around so much and I'm just uh, sticking down uh, with my sticking down my uh, sentiment uh, it's easy already have its sticker one part of the sentiment goes with the night and the other part goes with the sun part and this uh, line is by Victor Hugo, Hugo uh, who is one of my favorite authors I love his books and now I'm going to do a little bit shading around my girls. I'm using a dark uh, blue color uh, Faber-Castell pit brush uh, marker. You can also use gelatos uh, or other uh, markers that you have. And uh, after I'm done with this, I'm going to complete this uh, flower. Uh, I didn't cut the stem of it, uh, of course, because it's so thin. So I'm going to draw it back myself with a in a black marker it's not a problem and after this will be done uh, I hope you liked uh, this uh, simple but uh, hopeful page and it brought some uh, smile and uh, good feelings to your day if you hang out a little bit more we can have a look at uh, Elena's new uh, beautiful uh, digital stamps that I'm going to show you from her uh, page because uh, I'm not fast enough to work on all of them uh, but they are very beautiful these are the jigsaw houses uh, she made jigsaw puzzles from the houses so you can print and use them as you wish 
Uh, this is a very beautiful uh, girl image that I love. Uh, she looks very authentic, uh, oriental and different. Uh, and there are always colored and uh, uncolored images, which uh, I love as well. And then these uh, happy cups are so cute, uh, I cannot even comprehend. Look how cute they are, all these faces. There's one playing the guitar, so colorful and so many material. Uh, I will definitely use this digital image uh, very soon, uh, I hope. Uh, and another very interesting idea, uh, pantomime and theater. So there is this uh, genie and uh, all these princesses like theater people, actors and all the tools. It's very interesting. Uh, I'm sure it will be a lot of fun to use these images. Uh, and uh, there is another uh, woman with a lot of uh, bags, uh, it's called Princess Angelina uh, and for fashion lovers it's amazing. And then there is a group of uh, uh, stamps with uh, cats <laughs> which are very funny and then you will see afterwards there is a dog version too uh, which is equally cute and uh, funny. And there are a lot of materials in it too, cats and all the tools related to cats. And then there is this uh, older woman which is again uh, very nice to have. Uh, I am really interested in using this too uh, together with a lot of flowers. And she gives a lot of ideas even in the uh, example images. And I love this long house. Uh, I'd like to use it uh, at some point too. And here are the dogs for dog lovers. Uh, they are so cute, all these uh, accessories and their eyes and everything. Uh, I love them all. And finally, after this, uh, there is a butterfly uh, group of stamps, uh, which are really cute butterflies as well. Uh, I will definitely use that one too. Uh, <laughs> Look at these uh, options. There are many colors of butterflies that you can use and <laughs> these big ones are so funny in the face uh, and I love uh, to look at them. And then another favorite is a, a plant collection because uh, I'm a collector of succulents as well. Well, I'm at least trying to make them live. Um, so I really love these. Uh, they are very colorful, there are a lot of uh, options and uh, of course the black and white options as well. Again one of those uh, that I really want to use. And uh, last but not least is a C collection uh, which is also another uh, interesting idea because there is a submarine in it which I, I love and actually I attempted to use it uh, and I love the fishes here, they are multicolored. Uh, and I didn't like the page that I was creating so I left it uh, in progress and uh, I really need to uh, start another one and use these images. So these are the new ones that I wanted to highlight to you. Of course there are more uh, but I hope you enjoyed uh, flipping through these uh, cute images and uh, my art journal video. Don't forget to subscribe, like or comment if you enjoy my videos. That's how I know it. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.